Hi guys, so welcome back. So we're here for another part of my holiday series. So for this video, I wanted to cover foundation and concealers, okay? Now, I have longer videos about foundation and concealers, but this one is just gonna be a quick recap for the holidays in case you wanna try something different in terms of foundation because my mom was recently asking me um, for some foundation recommendations. So I was like, hmm, maybe my subscribers would like to know um, what new foundation is out there, all right? so. We're gonna get started with first foundation and then we're concluded with concealers, all right? So don't go anywhere and I'll be right back. So my first recommendation is going to be one of my favorite foundations in the whole world, which is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, okay? Um, I'm not a big fan of the MAC Studio um, Studio Fluid Foundation because I feel like they break you out. I'm not a fan of MAC foundations altogether because they do break you out. So I've tried Bobbi Brown because I loved it and then I stumbled upon Kat Von D the Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And if you don't know, Kat does tattoo and she's really into that like pinning up hard edge type of look I think so off of that vibe and knowing that pin up and you know it's very pearl essence skin so I was like oh I'm sure her foundation is going to aim to give me that finish so that's when I checked it out and I really loved it um this one is D72 now I do have three different shades so I have the 70 71 and 72 and I think I also have the deep 66 all right so just go it's kind of hard to say what color is going to be your color, but just go in there and get matched, okay? So definitely try the Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Now, it is a full coverage foundation. A lot of people complain about it, and the reason why they're complaining is because they're not using the right brush. It's thick. It's very thick, all right? So what you want to do, you're going to want to use some type of dance foundation brush. Um, this one is by Sedona Lace. Um, and a few others just giving you an example right of brushes that you can use so definitely look for a buff brush very dense brush and when you apply this go in circular motion that's really gonna help diffuse the product into your skin all right so the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation in conjunction with some dance fluffy foundation brush well dance <laughs> foundation brushes okay awesome my other favorite foundation is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. Now this one, I love the finish of this one, but I don't like the fact that they don't have enough shades for a woman of color. Um, it's also, you also get a pump, which is pretty awesome. You know, it's very sleek and it kind of just fits into your hand. Very ergonomic, is that how you say it? But they need more shades. So what I do, I do mix it with different foundations. Um, for example, I'll mix it with the Revlon Color Stay, which is also one of my really nice everyday foundation. If you wear a foundation every day to go to school and you don't want to waste your good foundation, this one is in cappuccino. Okay, now this one does not have a pump, you just pour it out. Love that one. Or I will mix my genius gel with these two. Um the darker shade right here is brownie, and this one is rum spice. Now these uh, now these foundations are from Black Radiance. You can get them at CVS. Now, I love Black Radiance products, even though they're drugstore products, I do love them. Um, they don't damage my skin. I really, really do appreciate these products. And you can wear them by themselves as standalone. It's just that if you wanna get that nice finish with the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation, you can mix those in there. Uh, but you can definitely wear these on their own because that's what I do, okay? Another one that I like sometimes is the Fit Me by Maybelline 355 is my color in this one. Um, another drugstore product. There's no magic there. It's not my absolute favorite, but if I must use it, I'll use it and mix it with something. All right. Now, the other foundation that I really love, and I did a video about this one also, which is gorgeous. I'll have that down below in the info box. It's the Lancome Tendisionnaire, and it also comes with a concealer here at the top. Not a concealer, it's a spot corrector. Okay, so don't use it under your eye, but use it where you have spots. I love this one. I also love Tan Idol by Lancome, which is awesome. So if you're gonna go ahead and use this, make sure that once you're done, that you thoroughly and completely cleanse your skin off so that your skin won't get damaged. But it's a great foundation to have in your makeup case. 
makeup foundation arsenal another one that i love is my makeup forever matte velvet now this one is the darkest shade in the family and i like this one because i use this one for contouring um it's matte it dries really the way it dries for me is really nice so i use it for my contour i didn't contour today but it is a gorgeous foundation to have if you can invest the money on getting this one so it's the matte velvet plus and darker shade all right now the cover cream concealers are very thick so you're going to want to work with like a wet beauty blender and start by warming it either on the back of your hand but trying to warm um, warm it up before applying it directly to your face now the packaging for it now is different than what this is and they have more colors than when i first bought these so if it's at all possible i recommend that you go to the store and swatch them for you but i love these and let me tell you what i use them for if you have really bad um, under eye circles if you have really bad acne scars like something where a regular concealer just doesn't do it for you you're going to want to use the derma blend cover cream concealers amazing it's very thick but it does the job flawless skin afterwards even if you were like had a severe burn on your face and you just, you just want to hide it derma blend cover cream concealer see you're good you're getting better at this huh okay now another one that i really like to use under my eye is the mac prolong wear concealer um you can go a shade lighter than your skin it's up to you you're gonna have to see what works for you but if you want to use this every day i would say you can get your the color of your skin or just a shade lighter than your skin so i believe this one's like nw40 this is nc42 okay i have this thing that i do with concealers a bit near sometimes now my second my other favorite concealer by mac is the select sheer cover up i like this one because it's very light and I use it when I first do my brows for the first time and I clean it. And I think using such a light concealer on your brows or to um, clean up your brows is great because it dries not in such a bold way. So it's easy to not have a halo with it. Another little highlight that I have is the YSL Touche Clock. Okay, I think you've heard about this one a lot. And it comes with this brush or paintbrush tip. Okay, I really love it. You just click on the button right here and it releases the product. So really nice, you just need to touch up your highlighter during the day. Perfect, it just brighten under the eye. Then one of my other favorite concealers is the Illamasqua Skin Base Lift in Deep 2. You get Illamasqua at Sephora, okay? It's a nice color also. If you want to have more of a natural highlight and cut, like if you want to highlight the bridge of your nose during the day, you need a natural color, I would say get this one. It is great and it's thick, but it's not as thick as a Dermot Blend concealer, so it's amazing. Yeah. The last concealers that I'm going to recommend are the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. What I will say about these concealers is that they're more on the yellow tone, but I, because I would send these for review, but they have already released the red undertone concealers so definitely check those out but these are the ones that i have because i would send those but i really love them they're really creamy they're super nice so if you look at them in the jar you can see that they're super creamy emollient they just glide on the skin like i love these concealers if they things i think i love more than weave and food it's concealer and money but I, I i love concealer i just get addicted to concealer i can never have enough concealer give me all the concealer in the world so these i love i think they did such a superb job on the concealers um so definitely check those out whether you're under um cool undertone neutral undertone or red undertone you're gonna find your perfect match with these anastasia concealers amazing all right guys so before i leave you i am definitely going to leave you guys with my top favorite foundation and concealer and it's none other than the kat von d locket tattoo foundation and the kat von d locket tattoo concealer that's it they won but everything else feel free to try once again i'm going to have a product list down below feel free to check that out okay make sure to leave your comments don't forget to share the video okay and i'll see you guys in my other yeah in my other holiday series video okay bye